Hi, this is the second part in the tutorial on the request that I had from a YouTube user on how to make a swoosh effect. Um, the first part is uploading right now, as you can see, 104 minutes, which is what, two and a half hours? No, no, just under two hours. Uh, one and a half hours, roughly. Uh, 746 megabytes, it's 20 minutes long, it's the longest video I've done to date. Um, the reason is because I introduced Synfig Studio and I used that to make it, but uh, after I made all of that, I realized you could do it in Wax, because I forgot Wax had a thingy capability. What's it called? Masking capability, but now, then when I remembered, I was like, might as well show you how to do it in Wax. So I've loaded my picture and changed my project settings to what they should be, so the size of the actual picture itself, 1200 by 800. I'm going to click it save as save file. I'm going to right click the active picture, click use original dimensions, it now works. Click on video plugins, click on Roto Mate. The reason I'm going over this very quickly is because I've done this before in other <coughs> in other tutorials so I'm not <coughs> too worried about it. Uh, okay, now I'm going to click on the pen tool, click on closed and I'm going to start drawing an outline of our yellow thing. Don't worry if it's not too accurate, you can change it at a later date. Hopefully that's peaking. There you go. Click on shape as a mask. There we go. If we click onion skin we can kind of see underneath. And that's kind of what we want. Now uh, click on the edit tool. Let's start deleting some damn vertices. Just click it, hit the delete button. It's fine. And what we're doing really is we're trying. As much as possible. To smooth this out. Anyone who doesn't know how to do these, by the way, but right, what you do is you move your point to where you want it, then you get one of these handles, and those handles can then change. So the further away it is, the curvier it is, uh, by changing left, right, or up and down, you, you change the actual nature of the curve to make it fit in more. Uh, I'll delete that. I'll bring that round like that. So as you can see, if I bring, you can now start adjusting this curve to kind of match the layout uh, I'm going to go down here boom, 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 boom. Boom. I'm going to bring this curve down here and I'm going to use this to there there you go now that's good that's good As you can see, we've oh, look at that. That looks nice. That looks nice. So we're going to click on our shape and we're going to click on, let's say, smooth, for example go to where we want it to finish at and we're gonna just by doing a bit of that it gives you a keyframe. Then go keyframe go keyframe. Remember you can move these keyframes around. Go keyframe. So this keyframe now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move everything back. And see this line here, we're going to basically try and get everything along that line. So I'll show you how I did it. Mm -hmm. 
is using Optum and selecting the wrong damn thing by accident. Complete accident. There we go, and then we go to this one, and we would do the same here. Ideally, it should be this one that should be on the point, so I'm going to bring these all down further a bit. It doesn't have to be completely neat. At the end of the day, it's going to be, what, one frame in the whole thing. Um, it's just personal preference. I'll, I'm doing this at speed anyway, so I'm not too bothered. And here we go. And then if we bring our last one down to frame zero what we need to do is we need to move everything out of frame no, alpha And so what we what we end up having is it comes in like this and then goes through like that. It's kind of linear, see how that works. It's not as bumpy. As you can see, it kinda goes through. You can if you wanted to then bring this down here. So it looks more pointy-ish and more like a wave. And then if here, if you, you're like, oh, that doesn't look that nice, you can bring that down like that. Bring that up like that. Bring that down like that. Bring that up like that. And here you go. That, that probably looks a lot better. We don't want any of this black part, so let's get rid of that here. And there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, we don't like that, so we'll just... It's going to be obviously about not showing off your... 
if you had a black solid and I mean a yellow solid underneath like you, in the first <laughs> tutorial it, it's a lot easier but there you go that that's that looks pretty good so then what you do is you'd click on a no, no, click on click get rid of your onion skin there so that's what's coming in and then obviously you can put in any solid color you want underneath <laughs> red yellow blue and just stick the rotomate on top of that and use that and but that is really how you'd end up doing it see how much radio has gone 91 minutes so 10 minutes 10 minutes and you've done this in wax fairly easy thing to do quite proud of it it does the job and then you could add in your logo and your stuff coming in here the one thing I found about this though however is that when you add in text in wax let's take the text 3d and let's add in a text let's say hello right first thing is behind that I think I think you can easily get around that by putting it in front that's not a problem but now to move this my understanding is you need to then add quick 3d on top of that but it doesn't let you do anything and I'm like try but objects 3d transform 3d doesn't seem to let you do it so what you'd actually have to do is save it out as it is click on save then go to media pool import said file so uh, workspace and so this text 3d I can actually click on delete yes but if I add in the workspace 3d it now sh gives you the exact same video which then I can say uh, let's say track properties I can change the opacity I can just do screen Sorry, I'm <laughs> completely changed that. So screen, do add, basically whatever you want, really. But then, if I want to change where this position is, so I add in quick 3D. <coughs> then you change your Y position, and you'd then keyframe it there linear bring it up bring it down again then bring it up to 100 and hey presto thing comes in and you can have your logo in the middle there so we could add in our just sharper logo Was where intro request sharper logo. So if we add in the just sharper logo, 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 the one that says just sharper logo might be helpful. Put this behind. Of course, remembering if your actual thing starts there, you don't actually need any of that. This is, by the way, compacting it, so I'm not going to, but you can just truncate it. So my just sharper logo is going to start from there anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is, it doesn't need a compositing or anything, but what I'm going to do is give the Jashaka logo 0% opacity. Wait, actually, I'll, I'll give it some properties first. So we're going to scale in the X, scale in the Y, scale in the X a little bit more, position it. This is what I find really itchy about the Jashaka thing is that it's harder to do like very f minute changes. Oh, I swear. Point four oh. And let's scale this down a bit more. There you go, I think that should work. And so now we've scaled that down, we're going to drop the opacity down on that. Click on linear. And then here we'll click on 
hundred percent. So this is what you end up getting. You go all the way back to the top. Obviously not as slick as the one I showed you in the other tutorial, but you get the idea and then you can put a yellow thing underneath and if you wanted to change your speed it up, slow it down, these things good old wax here. Is you can literally move these keyframes around and it slow it down, speed it up fairly easily. It, or you could just drag the whole thing and it compacts them drags them out so to speed up your animation basically but yeah that is how you would do this inside of wax so fairly easy to do as I said rather than have the pick you'd have a yellow background or whatever and you just do that with that uh, thank you for watching hope this helps if you have any questions let me know I'll see what I can do uh, goodbye god bless and oh yeah uh, there's still 86 minutes on this video so this this video will probably be put up Saturday and Sunday now. Well, cause it's technically is Sunday anyway. It's uh, Sunday the first of April. Uh, it's, I could do April Fools on you, but no, I ain't gonna. Uh, yeah, as I said, thank you for watching. Hope this video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll see what I ask me. Uh, I'll see if I can answer them, and if I can, I'll try my best. Thank you. Bye.